All right, some people have come up with their own solution to that awfully high price of gas. Not necessarily driving less, but driving differently. It's called hypermiling, and while it's especially popular among drivers of hybrid cars, some of the techniques work for any vehicle, but not all of them are for everyone. Here's ABC's Elizabeth Leamy. Lately, Joshua Zumbrun has been averaging about 72 miles per gallon in the hybrid he bought for his long commute as a Washington Post reporter. That's high even for a hybrid. I mean, that's like driving to from D.C. to Philly and a little bit more on just over two gallons of gas. So I asked Joshua to show me how his hypermiling secrets could help me in my regular car. You're at 16.6 .6 miles per gallon right now. Oh, gosh. His first tip brings the biggest savings. Slow down drive steadily without accelerating and braking so much. There's no point in racing up to a red light every time. Next lesson, gravity is your friend. Coast when you can. Then when we get to the bottom of the hill, we're going to use our momentum to carry us back up. At a long light, Joshua offers a more controversial idea that can be hard on your car. Turn the car off instead of leave it idling. Each step on its own may not save much, but they add up. Are you a manual transmission or a CVT? Just as the competitors at last weekend's Hybrid Fest Miles Per Gallon Challenge in Madison, Wisconsin, some contestants even ditch their shoes to reduce weight in the car. All in favor of, of saving gas, raise your right foot. <laughs> Hypermiler Wayne Gertis showed us his driving style. We should be able to catch green in just a second. Constantly yeah, timing lights green. and anticipating helpful hills. Oh boy, this is going to be nice. At last, it's time for the real race. Good luck. It's a real tortoise and hare scene as hypermilers hold up regular traffic. At the finish line, Wayne comes in second in his division with nearly 146 miles per gallon. Winner Bill Kinney ekes out an amazing 168 miles per gallon. So how do hypermilers do it? Extreme ones push the envelope by drafting behind big rigs and turning their engines off on freeways. Safety advocates disapprove. Those are frankly dangerous practices that no one should be doing regardless of how much they want to save on the price of gasoline. Back in my car, after just a few miles with a hypermiler at the wheel, it's already improved by several miles per gallon. Well, let's see, if I get rid of my earrings, that'd be 10 pounds right there. Not bad. <laughs> Can you imagine a hypermiler in New York City traffic? I mean, they oh, wouldn't yes. make it two miles and turn off the car, or do this. Blah, She's blah, just blah. giving me a whole list of things I can nag my husband about. Why are you rushing to the light? Elizabeth Leamy says, yeah, you right. know, you're wasting gas. And by it's the way, why pretty. are you wearing shoes? That's weighing us down <laughs> on our commute. Well, when oh, we come ditch back. Ditch the tow ring, honey. Yeah, really. Here's a cool idea. A place mm. where you can go to get a quick compliment. No strings attached. Here's not a hint. It here. ain't here. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, we think alike. Is that a compliment or not? It's a little scary is what it is. You're watching World News Now. <laughs>